Pontiac Fierro You got it, Pontiac Hi, thanks for checking out this segment of my 3800 build video In this segment, I'm going to do the install of the transmission Transmission I'm using is the 4T65EHD, which is an automatic transmission. I would suggest replacing the stock Fiero transmission mounts as the old oil-soaked rubber mounts that are at this point 20 to 30 years old aren't going to be sufficient to handle the torque of the 3800 and the transmission. So, in this case, I've picked up two polyurethane transmission mounts from Rodney Dickman. We've got the front transmission mount and a rear transmission mount. What I like about these are the fact that they have three bolt holes. So in this case, depending on where the transmission lines up, we can set the bolts where we need them. Um, so I would recommend doing those. When it comes to the adapter brackets, I chose to go with Fierro Rogers. After doing extensive research, I found that his brackets have a good reputation for being of good quality and are reliable. Uh, the brackets I have here are the transmission brackets that we'll be installing. His kits are really good as they fit perfectly. They are provided with uh, all the necessary bolts to install them as well as spacers to make sure that everything snug and tight. This is the rear transmission bracket and this is the front transmission bracket. Also on a side note, when it comes to the installation of the transmission, there are several bracket kits out there for the 3800 installation kit. Um, they all have their own positioning of the transmission. That being said, when you design and build your axles, each kit will require the axle lengths to be slightly different one way or the other. So take that into consideration when checking out this video because I'm using Fiero Rogers brackets, which may be different than West Coast Fiero or Brand X. So you might want to check on the uh, axle lengths that are required to make those kits work. If not, check out my video on axle building and that will take care of that. This is the engine cradle I'm going to use for my 3800 build. Um, it's an engine cradle I had laying around. I took some time to recondition it, paint it, get it all cleaned up. Um, I did a polyurethane bushing upgrade for the control arms as well as uh, aluminum bushings for the engine cradle. If you're interested in those, I have links to the products below. And I also have a video on removal of the bushings, which you can check out also below. Um, once you get your engine cradle ready and prepped, I'm going to show you how to install the transmission. So before continuing on, I want to first identify what I'm going to refer to as the front and back of the engine cradle. This right here is the front, this is the rear, as this is towards the back of the car, and this is more forward on the car. So, the front transmission mount will mount here, and the rear transmission mounts will mount here. We'll go ahead and start mounting up the Rodney Dickman uh, polyurethane transmission mounts and from there we'll move on to Fiero Rogers transmission adapters. For my uh, preliminary test fit prior to filming it looks like I want to use the outermost holes when installing this. It seemed to be the best fit. Um, in your application depending on your setup you may want to use the inner holes but if not we're going to go with the outer holes. So let's install that now. Okay, so the transmission mount is going to go this way, kind of facing outward. We're going to stick it on the side mounts. We were lucky enough to have nuts and washers included with the kit, so we're going to go ahead and use those. Now as I'm 
finger tightening these nuts, I want you to know that this does have slack sideways. Um, so you're going to tighten it, but you may have to loosen and make some minor adjustments when you actually go to mount the transmission just for the final touches on making sure that it's spot on. But just so you know, it does slide, um, but we're going to cinch it down and then make the adjustments once the transmission gets mounted. And to tighten the bolts that come with your kit, I'm going to use a 17 millimeter with a, uh, an extension to get from the back. We're all set here, now we're going to move on to the rear transmission mount. Alright, now we're looking at the rear of the engine cradle. We're going to reinstall the rear transmission mount. And to do that, we're just going to stick it in here. And it's already got slats ready for it. The nuts included with it are a 13 millimeter, a little different than the front and you screw them in from the back. If you're using an engine dolly, something you made yourself, um, it's probably a little easier to let it hang off the edge so you can reach the bolts easily. We'll go ahead and cinch those down with a uh, 13 millimeter wrench. And also you need to note that this also slides back and forth, so you may have some fine adjustments when final fitting your transmission, so be mindful of that. There you have it, we're mounted, and we're going to move on to the Fiero Raj brackets. And since we're already on our rear transmission mount, we might as well go ahead and install the adapter bracket for the 4T65EHD or 4T65E, depending on which transmission or engine you're going to use. And this is the rear transmission bracket provided by Fiero Raj. For the moment, I'm going to leave his spacers uh, attached so I don't lose them. Um, with the Rodney Dickman uh, transmission mount, I'm going to use this bolt. It seemed to be what worked for me in my trial fit, so that may change, but for now, I'm going to say use that hole as a guide, and we'll see how that goes from there. But the flat part here is what actually presses against the transmission. This little lip here is what is going to go to the transmission uh, transmission mount. The bolt is actually going to go through the slot in this little lip. And when we actually get to tightening up, we're going to use a 5 in 5 8 wrench. All right, so now we're going to use our 5 8 wrench to tighten it down. Here we are at the front transmission mount. This is Fiero Raj's front transmission mount adapter. And again, using Rodney Dickman's bolt holes, I think in this one we're going to stick with the center. The center will go through the center here, and it will be positioned as such. This does slide back and forth for fine tuning. And when you actually sink it down, it can be a 5 8 
socket or a 16 millimeter, your choice. Nice. So this is my 4T65E HD that I'll be installing. This one in particular came from a 1998 Buick Regal GS. It made it to an L67 from a 1999 Buick Regal GS. It's very important to know what transmission and engine you are using as donors, as there are some slight differences between them. As I said, this is from a 98 Buick Regal, and we'll be installing that. But when you use yours, there may be some slight modifications on the axle lengths as each manufacturer is a little different. So let's go ahead and trial fit this and see if we can get it bolted to the cradle. All right, let's start trial fitting. Alright, I got the rear side lined up, so I'm going to go ahead and start mounting that, or bolting that side in first, then I'll start to let tension out, bring this side down, and bolt that on. All right, looking at the front side of the transmission, I've lined up the transmission at least on this hole, so I'm going to go ahead and at least get this started finger tight so I could use this as a pivot point to line up the other two holes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this in. Pretty good. Just shifting the transmission, you can see Fiora Raj's transmission brackets line up exactly spot on. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. Once we get this finger tight, we're going to go ahead and use a 16 millimeter socket. We'll go ahead and tighten this one down. I got those firm down. We're going to go ahead and the last bolt. Looking back at the rear transmission bracket here, I've already started the bolts. There's one here, there's one down here, which might be a little tough to see. Um, and then there's one on the other side, which we'll get to in a minute. Couldn't get any video of actually putting them in because it just, I just couldn't get a good angle. So I just go ahead, went ahead and started them. But we're going to take either a 16 millimeter or a 5 8 wrench and we'll start tightening these down. If you happen to have a ratcheting wrench, it will make life a lot easier. got one more to go and this is the final bolt which uh, is really close to the transmission mount so I can't get a ratcheting wrench on it so this we gotta do old school
And there we have it. Rear transmission cradle adapter has been attached. So here we have the transmission mounted to the cradle using Fiero Rogers brackets. I think I'm ready to move on to some axles. Get those on, make sure everything seems to fit well. From there we'll continue the build. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for latest updates on my build. And